Shalom Amakim to the elect. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Bahashim Awashai, Bahashim Raka Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of his only begotten Son, and there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught the 100% truth of the scriptures, and honors and citations to the elect document doing these works in season out of season, week in, week out, in sincerity, and 100% truth of the scriptures. Alright, so uh, I'm here on um on on Odyssey. All right, watching uh, Apostle Tahar's uh, uh, the lesson here, man, and I had to, I had to pause it, yo. I had to pause it and do and do a quick lesson of my own. And I'm definitely, definitely, Lord willing, gonna just jump right back into this lesson. But I had to, I had to do this lesson. This is incredible, man. This is inc wow. This is a uh, manipulation at its finest. This is manipulation at its finest, man. At its finest. <laughs> you know, either that or complete stupidity at its finest. So, right here he says, uh, um, the, the, the Lord created the sea. All right. For, for these Edomites. But these Edomites found a way to uh, uh come up with the you know the fruit punch <laughs> all right the punch to uh uh stop the lord's plague that was meant for him but now we caught in the midst <laughs> but now the so-called negroes hispanics and natives we, we're caught in the midst and while he found a way out through the fruit punch he's gonna leave us high and dry without the punch right so that we would be left to ultimately drop suddenly that's the biggest crock of bullshit and i'm serious that's the biggest crock of bullshit that i've ever heard you know well so like well so like i mean i gotta tell you the biggest crock is uh, uh these edomites being the chosen people but uh <clears throat> yeah it's terrible man nonetheless it's terrible so i just want to because if that was the case that image out how these devils they don't want to share their punches with with our people because they want us to drop suddenly anyway if that was the case then you got to explain this news article here back in 2020 which says the sea is sending black latino and native american and, it, and it's so it's so fitting man it's so funny and you can't make this up that they literally named the 12 tribes of israel they included the all the 12 tribes of israel how you gonna make this up it's on cnn how you gonna make this up man it literally says black latino and native american that's the 12 tribes the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives. That's literally the 12 tribes. This is a faith booster, man. So it says, you got to explain this as well. The sea is sending black, Latino, and Native American people to the hospital at about four times the rate of others. So see, this is a, uh, what do you call this? This is a uh, uh, propaganda. This is propaganda at its finest. You know? And this is to uh, 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 scare you. This is supposed to scare you into running down and taking the the Blitzkrieg bop, you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, the bop, the bat. This is propaganda to scare our people into running them into taking the bat so that they can be what uh, 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 covered in their mind. So, going back to what Yohanna is saying, and, and honestly, I, I, I can't say General Yohanna, man, you know. I'm sorry, man, but not even out of respect, man, you know. You, you, 
I just gotta say your honor, man. You know, cause that that was terrible. That was extremely terrible. But anyway, if that was the case, they would have reversed this news article. They would have said the least amount of people getting it is the black, Latino, and, and natives. So this way, they would feel like we would feel like we don't have to take it. So this way, they could have more of the BAPs for themselves to save themselves if that was the case. But no, right here in black and white and bold letters on CNN, national news, they're spewing their propaganda to get our people into rushing into taking it. So this also cuts Johanna's narrative of uh, 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 on them coming up with a damn uh, 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 the okie doke to like Apostle Tar said to pull a fast one on the most high this right here cuts that whole narrative man <clears throat> so let me get some, uh, some scriptures without further ado boy if there was ever false prophets If there was ever false prophets, man, if there was ever false prophet. So Ezekiel chapter 13, I started the to top and the word of the Lord came unto me saying, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy. Right. That call themselves prophets, you know, call themselves men of the Lord. The true men of the Lord is going to uh, um, um, be set at defense for the gospel. You can't tell me that ain't Great Millstone. Okay? Great Millstone, man. Hey, we come at everybody. And that's in the scriptures right here. The true prophets is supposed to come at everybody. <laughs> Does it not say right here? Son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy. Right? The alleged prophets, the alleged men of the Lord. And you got that from T.D. Jakes all the way to goddamn um, Bishop Nate, which has been coming around, you know, as of late. Uh, to uh, 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 to no names. You know, no names. You had that one dude talking about, I'm the real King David. You know, just no names. Stragglers, you know, uh, uh, we cover Great Millstone covers it all, man. To uh, um, Fallout Boys, I was once a part of the camp, and now they call themselves teaching the truth. I mean, Great Millstone covers it all through the spin party. So, this this is a fulfillment of Ezekiel. Great Millstone is a fulfillment of Ezekiel 13 and 2. So it says, prophesy against the prophets of Israel that prophesy, and say thou unto them that prophesy out of their own hearts. See, so they, they prophesy out of their what? Out of their own minds. Whether it be a follow, they're following their own feelings and uh, 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 their own wisdom, or whether their mind is swayed by the dollar dollar bill, y'all. You know? They're prophesying out of their own heart, and they're not sticking to the uh, the true um, understanding of the scriptures, man. They they bring forth their own understanding. So it says, "Hear ye the word of the Lord." Thus saith the Lord, "Power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai." Woe unto the foolish prophet! Yes, because oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, I so like it. Uh, all right, so lucky. Let me let me let me uh grab that back. Where is it? Oh, come on Odyssey the app. This was, I was I was, I was laughing a little bit, man, because it was so foolish. But it's serious at the same time because he's he's pulling the wool over people's eyes, man. But this <laughs> this is buffoonery, yo. This is buff this is pure buffoonery. This is pure buffoon. This oh my goodness. As you can see, man, I, I'm quite flabbergasted, you know? 
So let me uh let me just get back. It says uh that follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. Okay, it says O Israel, thy prophets are like foxes in the deserts. You have not right because they what ultimately dig holes. It says so they're digging holes, man, for our people to fall into. So you have not gone up into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of the Lord. Okay, so Khan, they they didn't give the true knowledge, wisdom, and un I mean, come on, man. Isaiah 13, 6. Let me grab that real quick. Come back. That was terrible. Yo. That's that's sad. I mean, in all in all, in all actuality, that's sad, man. For real. Like, I was laughing a little bit, but that's sad as fuck, man. That's grimy. Isaiah thirty three six, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation. See, so they're not bringing forth strength of salvation. They're not teaching about, all right, the. The salvation that is in there. Okay. The true essence of it. They're still thinking long term. Salvation comes with hastening the day of the Lord. If you ain't hastening the day of the Lord. And you thinking long term. Guess what? The Lord said. Then that day is going to overtake you as a thief. I'll never forget. Nate a while back years ago. Say we're going to build schools. You know. We're going to build schools and stuff like that. The children is the future. <clears throat> no, we the future, man. Lord willing. We are the children. That's the future, Lord willing. But see, he was thinking long term. I'm not sure if he still thinks like that. But then uh then you have who was it? Zabak. That's uh he bought acres trying to build little Jerusalem, New Jerusalem. So they they're not teaching the true essence of the strength of salvation. Says, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times. So so they're not Bringing forth the, the real knowledge and the real wisdom of Yahweh Hashem Shai, so that what so that we could have stability in that day. See that GMS boy, that Great Millstone boy. We ultimately we ready, you know, Lord willing. And as each day goes by, we get more and more ready. Each day goes by, more and more ready we become. You know, I think it was the brother GMS, uh, GMS get this work a while back. He posted that video, you know, the We Ready song, you know, with, 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 with us out there in the highways and byways in the background with the re, with the re, We Ready song on, man. So, and, uh, I got a, a, a prayer actually real quick. Khan, which is uh uh Barak Yah Wa Isaria La Hawa Aithiyad, you know, which means uh bless me and help me to be ready ultimately, you know. Okay, so Khan, because you know, and that's quick, because ultimately also we can say we're ready, you know. And then we don't know what's what's gonna uh, uh, what could, have, could be when that time comes. But if we constantly praying for that every day, then we will be. So that's the backup and the foundation, you know. So like to the uh, to our faith. So it says Ezekiel thirteen, back in Ezekiel thirteen and six, they have seen vanity and lying divination. Yeah. So ultimately, he's seen vanity. He's seen. What he's spewing out is a, a lying divination. Oh, the Lord put the sea on, brought the sea out to destroy these Edomites. And that's a lying divination, bro. And that's vanity. You know, you have seen nothing, bro. That's not what the Lord, Lord is doing. It says, and the Lord have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Have ye not seen a vain vision? Yeah, because that's a vain vision, man. 
And have ye not spoke of lying divination, whereas ye say the Lord saith it? Albeit I have not spoken. The Lord like, I ain't. What you talking about? <laughs> Therefore thus saith the Lord power, because ye have spoken vanity and seen lies. Therefore behold, I am against you, saith the Lord power. Whew. Dude, I will not want to be you. I will not want to fucking be you, man. Playing the most dangerous game that the earth has ever seen to play. Messing around with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You are playing the most dangerous game. And that's also why we go out there in the highways and byways. You know? The number one motivator. <laughs> the number one motivator. The number one. The absolute number one motivator. As to why we go out there in the highways and byways. Is because of the great fear. <laughs> the great, great fear. That we have of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Because we know that if you do not go out there in the highways and byways no more, then that means you is looking back. And that means you're not fit for the kingdom. You put that means you put your hand to the plow and you drop the plow and now you're not fit. So we know that we have put our hands to that plow. We fully understand that. There is no way, Lord willing. That we could ever drop that is just too much fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Oh my goodness, man. Don't you see all them horror movies? People getting uh, possessed, people getting haunted, demons. That's all controlled by Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. You think I fuck? You think I want that? <laughs> Who could deal with that? You know? Who the hell? Who? Not me. I mean, and that, and that, and that could be just the beginning. Man, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, it's a terrible thing to fall to the end of Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, man. And then, and then the, 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 the beautifulness that you receive for pleasing the Lord, the balance is just too, I mean, it's just too easy of a decision to make, man. Because <laughs> if you please the Lord, look at all the beauty. Eyes have not seen, nor ears have heard the things that Yahweh Bashim Shai have prepared for them that love him, man. You know, so the, I mean, it's the easiest choice that, I ever, that, that we ever have to make in our lives, man. You know, let me see. Continue to do this work and be blessed beyond my wildest imaginations or fall out and be in a pitiful, ter ter terrible, terrified state. Shit. <laughs> so uh, verse 9 says, And mine hand shall be upon the prophets. A, through the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and that divine lie. So I saw Apostle's comment when he said, the Lord, the Lord may take the jinn out this year. Yeah. Yeah, he has every right to say that. Because the scriptures back him up. See? You see, we, we see... uh. The Bishop Nate was in a, a terrible state. We see the, uh, the the alleged comforter was taken out. It says, And my hand shall be upon the prophets that see vanity and divine lies. They shall not be in the assembly of my people. Neither shall they be written in the writing of the house of Israel. Neither shall they enter into the land of Israel. So you ain't going to make it. And ye shall know that I am the Lord power. Lord willing is edifying with that. I'm going to say Shalom.